Welcome back guys. We're going to be looking at the uses of some and any today which are very particular to the English language. I'm going to try and make this as clear as possible so I hope you understand it. Let's go! I've used some difficult words here but I think the examples will help to make it clear. So you use some and any for indefinite quantities or indefinite numbers. Basically that means if there's something you can't count then you use some or any. For example you can't count milk you can't say one milk you say one liter of milk. You can't count cheese you can't count water I wouldn't say do you have two waters I can say two bottles of water and you're counting the bottles. Um, I can't count petrol for my car. I wouldn't want two petrol. I would want two litres of petrol. So some and any you use for things that you can't count. I've put some examples here. Do you have some milk? We have some cheese. He has some water. I don't have any milk. We don't have any cheese. He doesn't have any water. In the next few slides, I'll give you uh, the, a bit more explanation of the difference between some and any. Okay? You'll notice I've put smileys on the documents. That's to try and help you see visually the difference between things. So some you use for a positive, therefore a happy face, plural sentence. So positive plus mirfout. There are some pretty flowers in your garden, there are some amazing kids in my class and there are some interesting books in my library. These sentences are all positive, there's not the word not in there, so they are positive and they are plural, mirfout, flowers, kids, books, so they're all plural positive sentences and then you use some. And now you'll see a sad smiley face because the word any is used for negative plural sentences. So negatief plus meerfout. There aren't any flowers. There aren't any girls. There aren't any interesting books. So when you see the word not, you know it's negative already. And then you use the word any. You don't say there aren't some flowers in my garden. You say there aren't any flowers. Okay, so any is for negative plural sentences. But the poor sad little word any isn't just negative. We do like the word any, so we use that also for questions. So vragen plus meervoud, we use any. Are there any flowers? Are there any girls? Are there any interesting books? So any is used for the negative, there aren't any, but it's also used for questions. Are there any? And remember to make the question, as you can see here, we put the question word is and are at the start of the sentence. 